We begin tonight at 6 with breaking news. Growing concerns over the Triple E virus. It's now hit the Hartford area. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Denise DeCenzo. I'm Dennis House. We've now learned mosquitoes in the town of South Windsor have tested positive for Triple E. Now this means with eastern equine encephalitis now being found in a total of 13 Connecticut towns. People in town are being urged to minimize the time they spend outdoors around dawn and dusk. Turning now to an Eyewitness News exclusive surrounding Tripoli, e, we bring you this story. I'll bet for the previous three weeks, Pat had not been out of East Lyme. A family from East Lyme is in mourning days after 77-year-old Patricia Shaw succumbed to the Tripoli e virus. She is the first Connecticut victim in six years. And now many communities are taking some precautions. Channel 3 New London Bureau Chief Kevin Hogan is live now in East Lyme with details on how the potentially deadly virus is changing lives. Kevin? Well, Dennis, it's changing a lot of lives. Communities all over the state, they are changing schedules for after-school activities outdoors and then posting warnings about the uh, mosquitoes that have been trapped that carry the deadly Triple E virus. She just felt awful and went to bed very early. And when she, got, when she got up the next morning, um, she had a temperature of 102.7. <laughs> was somewhat confused. The Triple E virus hasn't hit home for many people along the shoreline until last week. Eastern equine encephalitis took the life of 77-year-old Patricia Shaw of East Lyme, the first Triple E death in Connecticut since 2013. Pat and Jerry Shaw celebrated their 55th wedding anniversary this year. The suddenness of it, the impact of it, when we realized it was, in fact, Eastern equine encephalitis hit home. The mother of three and grandmother developed a high fever, nausea. The virus inflames the brain, triggering encephalitis. A third of Triple E patients die. The Triple E virus has been identified now in mosquitoes trapped in 13 Connecticut towns. Communities like Clinton are taking heed, closing the playing fields between 6 p.m. and dawn. Westbrook is treating its catch basins with larvicide, so far twice this year. Meanwhile, Connecticut College, the U.S. Coast Guard Academy, and Mitchell College, as well as regional school districts, have all changed athletic events to limit exposure to mosquitoes at dusk. Yeah, it is kind of scary. My faith has definitely helped, and hopefully it will continue to sustain me in the future. Now, the Shaw family tells me that they're pretty sure that uh, Pat Shaw got bit in East Lyme because she hadn't been out of town for three weeks prior to being sick. Live the mobile newsroom in East Lyme. Kevin Hogan, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. Such a sad story. Thank you, Kevin.